Good morning, friends. Yesterday we celebrated Memorial Day, a holiday especially set aside in honor of those brave men and women who gave their lives in the American armed services that we might enjoy the freedoms that we have in this country. When we look at the subject of death, we realize that as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are possessed of a marvelous hope. Hope is a word that is capable of many different renditions and understandings. You might say, well, I hope the sun will rise tomorrow, and uh, I don't think you have much to worry about. The sun will rise tomorrow. Or you could say, I hope I inherit $10 million. Well, that hope is probably pretty faint for you. I know it is for me. There, there's an elasticity to the word hope. When the word hope is used in the scripture, however, when it's used by the followers of Jesus, it is used as a word that has a certain fixed identity to it. On him, the Apostle Paul says, we have set our hope. It's not the kind of hope that says, uh, well, I hope I win $10 million. It's the kind of hope that says, I hope the sun will rise tomorrow, because indeed the sun will rise, whether there are clouds or not, the sun will rise. The story is told of a substitute teacher who uh, had been called upon to teach lessons to children that were uh, in a children's hospital to make sure they didn't fall too far behind in their schoolwork while they were recuperating from illnesses in the hospital. And she uh, was to call on a child that was in the burn unit, and the regular teacher had said to teach him nouns and adverbs. She went into this room of this child which had been severely burned, and uh, she sat down with him for an hour and taught him nouns and adverbs. The next day, the, uh, the head nurse called the school and said, what did that substitute teacher do yesterday? There's been a remarkable change in Johnny's condition. We thought he was going to die. And this morning, he's had a complete turnaround. What, what was it that, uh, that the teacher did? We, we can't figure out why he would have had such a complete turnaround. And um, they asked the little boy later, where, what, what filled you with such hope? He said, well, he said, I figure they wouldn't send a substitute teacher to teach me nouns and adverbs if I wasn't going to live. And I think of that when I think of the solidity of the hope that a follower of Jesus Christ has. The book of Hebrews, in fact, chapter 6, tells us that hope is an anchor that is fixed and secure. And that anchor, interestingly enough, is not in the watery depths of the ocean, but the anchor itself is in the heavens above, where Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of God. We have in our hope in Jesus Christ today a solid anchor and a fixed reference point in our life. I trust that that is the case in your life today, and it's as simple as receiving Christ into your heart. God bless you today.